do I do this stuff? <laughs> um, today we are gonna continue on our multiplayer game. Um, this is like like one second after the previous one. I haven't even edited the first one yet. <laughs> um, but let's just do this. Um, so as you remember, before we made this. And this to make this. Looks great, doesn't it? Um, so we're going to make this even better with lots of different things. So let's get right into it. So first we need to listen to this thing. Variables. We're going to so with mo making multiplayer game you have to become a scratcher if you want to know how if you're a scratcher or not too bad i'm not telling you well let's just see this. if you want to know if you're an actual scratcher go to your profile and then it say it might say here yeah, scratcher and i'll put a link in the description below if you want to have a wiki page if you want to know if you're a scratcher and if you're not a scratcher well bad luck you can't even play multiplayer game yeah I have an example for a scratcher this guy Alex da Kitten what yeah you should really do that yeah please <laughs> um yeah but he is not a scratcher, basically a new scratcher. He's also from the United Kingdom, same one as me. And well, so please follow him. <laughs> um, he's done even more. I think he's done more projects than me. Um, anyway, let's just leave a comment there. Okay, okay. All right, let's go back to this thing. So remember, even even to play multiplayer games, you have to be a scratcher. Put a link, wiki link in the description. Now let's make a variable, and you might see this if you're a scratcher. Cloud variable stored on server. Let's make two of these. I'm going to do player one. We need to make one called player one x, player one y, and player one y. And even my um show this warning saying wait. <laughs> Please note, cloud variables only support numbers, not letters or symbols. So just numbers. Only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 0. Those are the only ones you can use. Soz. Um, let's go. Now we're going to do the same for player 1. Player 2. And then that is done. Bye bye. Okay, so we're going to go into forever, set player one, x to x position, and player one, y, to y position. So now, I'll show you like something like this. I accidentally did play a 2 Y whoops. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. No, it's just gonna do that, isn't it? Now we're going to we're going to so look at this for this. And then we're going to set these mischiefs to play one play two X, play two Y. And if you see this happening ever, you just have to just go this, 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 and it's just slower. Um, and now it will always, it will forever um, set the exact position, which is really clever, I know, big brain here. <laughs> um, but there we go, we basically made it so it's always stored on the server. You won't see this until I'm done with this multiplayer stuff but if we actually go onto the project page um also it will show like this cloud variable c data let's see the data of this and it will show oh my goodness all of these are green pizzas what cloud variables do 
is they basically they stay on the server which means basically if you set like a club variable to one everyone's club variable is set to one and then if you set it to two everyone's one will set to two it will be really useful for this because now we know that the player x everyone would know the player x is like one one two and the player one y is like Zero, one zero two, but there we go. We we made cloud variables. I feel so happy! Yay! Oh, also does the same for the jumping, and then we can just go like this. It's really fun, isn't it? We really took the other, but we're going to do more cloud variables right now. We're going to do player one right and player two left and player. One left and player two right. Okay, there we are. But we have lots of variables now. But what this means is, so we're going to do, we're going to do player one right and player one left. Where are we going to make one for I? I'm player one. I. You don't even have to copy this off me. I would. It would be easier if I. It would be easier if um, I just used the multiplayer engine, but I don't want to do that. Not today. I don't think so. Um. But so we got player one left, player one right, player one I'm player one, player two. I can't speak today. I guess my voice cracked. I'm not even through puberty yet. <laughs> I'm thinking, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> So we could do I'm player two, which means wait if player. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, right. Okay, I think I got it. So for the moving forward and backwards and backwards and forwards, we need to do if I'm player one equals one. Uh, we we can move forward and like change the player <laughs> if right arrow when we're gonna do a forever and then we're gonna make a new one for the left arrow and then i feel like i'm actually gonna become a coder right now uh like i'm just a tutorial person i'm i'm not that big of a coder we've got left arrow and right arrow we're going to space up arrow Left arrow. We're going to duplicate this. Left arrow. Switch to costume two. You're also going to add a forever thing for here. Look how much orange you can see. I'm pretty sure on every scratch bolt that would be an orange. Yeah, um, we're gonna do forever because we need to do the when this can end. We're going to do when this click. Look how much code there is. I done more than this, and my brain is hurting. No, seriously, my brain is hurting. <laughs> um, we're going to duplicate this costume two, and then we're gonna also duplicate this for costume one and then we're going to duplicate this because we need to pick it like that and we're going to take rid of this because i didn't meant to do that <gasps> and then we need to do the same for iron player two let's do this okay so we need to have that <laughs> okay so we're going to change change it by 10 steps and um, we're going to change by 20 no five and i'm going to do another five <laughs> So we can. Oh, he hasn't done this. Okay, so I'm player one isn't on, so that means they're copying off this one, which we don't want. So we're gonna get rid of these. I'm surprised it isn't. Oh. And I have to do the same for the up arrow. And and it doesn't do anything because I'm player one. It doesn't equal one. So I'm just gonna do set iron player one to one. Okay. So the bad thing is it it moves the other way. 
What have I done wrong? I, I need to split these around, I don't know. Okay, I think it goes... Yeah, it goes a bit more... It goes smoother. Oh, I like this. It goes smoother. Because it's going five instead of one. At least I'm not doing it one. Like this. Okay, so... Now, this is... I don't think we really need player one right, but we do. No, we need to make it so. Uh, we need to like do some code where it like there's like another sprite acting this sprite, whether it's actually what it's doing. And then I know we're gonna do pick random one to two. Wanted to if you want to create a new game and then no wait if you're doing a new game that means you need to be player one two player player fun <laughs> don't play we need to like do host a game or join a game so we need to make it so it finds a game i need to do like random game i think i'm gonna leave it here um now i'm probably gonna do like another one tomorrow because <gasps> so i'm just gonna say please follow alex Dakitten. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, he just said thank you for putting me in the I made a game video. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave it here. So, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on Scratch. Also, follow Alex the Kitten. I see him up there. You'll be like crying. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. And good. Bye.